so I understood now the overall purpose of the application. I know how I can start and run this application, but let's dive deeper a little bit and um, understand the application architecture because at the end of the day, I'm supposed to make changes to the project and for that I need to understand the components in detail. So let's see whether Bob can actually speed this up. still in ask mode because I'm yet again asking a question about the application. So it already comes up with things like, oh, it's a full stack application with backend and front end components. And now the nice thing is Bob uh, dives deeper. Bob uh, already identifies key files that it wants to read to examine um, more and get more insights about it. Um, it identifies key domain files to get the complete picture. Um, and with that, it basically gives me um, already a nice overall architecture view um, with the front end, with the back end, um, understands where a database fits into this. Um, and then it dives deeper into things like the back end architecture, showing me the API layer, what is the domain layer um, of the application, and um, really gives me a detailed view of these different layers that it basically um, um, extracted from looking at my project structure. But not only this, it's able to um, extrapolate off that and basically um, identify key backend patterns or development patterns like dependency injection that I should know when I start working with this application. And the same thing for the front end architecture. It gives me the overview. It's basically a TypeScript um, and React application. It um, analyzes the layers, um, gives me the key front end technologies. And um, yeah, then it um, doesn't stop there. It gives me the, um, the data modeling, very important in a really nice diagram. It gives me the data flow architecture. Um, and um, including the development and build architecture and what we're doing for security. Imagine trying to get all of this by reading through all these files and trying to elicit these patterns. This is now something that I got in approximately two minutes, which would have cost me, I think realistically hours if I had to dive into this or if I had to rely on, per on perhaps outdated documentation. So this is all good. Just reviewing this again. It basically gives me these nice mermaid diagrams. And um, great. So now I want to ensure that I um, uh, keep this information for further reference. So um, I want Bob to actually to store this information. To be able to store this information, I'm switching to a different mode, basically the, um, to the code mode, because the ask mode can only read from my project, not write files into the project. So with that, I'll basically um, um, just say, um, into context MD. So I'm going to ask it to create a new file. I'm staying in the same task, so it has this context. Um, so I can refer to, and my team can refer to this um, actually also afterwards. So you see it starts getting, in. It, it's working here. It's including the mermaid diagrams. It's including all of these, um, um, all of this information. So with that, um, yeah, I'm up and running in no time and I can always refer back to this information here in that markdown file.